The year is 1989, a year marked by significant global events and political upheaval. The Cold War grips the world in its icy grasp, nations are on edge, and the threat of nuclear conflict looms large over every decision made by world leaders. Beneath the waves a silent struggle unfolds. The oceans, vast and mysterious, become the stage for a high-stakes game of cat and mouse between superpowers. Among the protagonists is the K-278 Komsomolets, a Soviet submarine unlike any other. This vessel, a marvel of engineering, was designed to push the boundaries of underwater exploration and military capability. This is not just a story of steel and machinery, it's a tale of human endurance, bravery, and the relentless pursuit of technological superiority. It's about the men who manned this underwater titan, and the events that led to its tragic demise. These men, dedicated and skilled, faced unimaginable challenges in the depths of the ocean. The Komsomolets was a symbol of Soviet ambition, a vessel designed to operate at depths previously unreachable. It represented the cutting edge of submarine technology, capable of diving deeper than any other submarine of its time. It was a hunter, armed with deadly torpedoes. These weapons, designed for precision and destruction, made the Komsomolets a formidable force in the underwater arena. The world held its breath, knowing the destructive power this submarine possessed. Every move it made was watched with bated breath, as the balance of power teetered on a knife's edge. Little did they know, the Komsomolets itself would soon become a victim. A tragic accident would seal its fate, turning this symbol of power into a somber reminder of the perils of the deep. The loss of the Komsomolets was not just a blow to Soviet naval power, but a human tragedy. Rescue operations were launched, but the harsh conditions of the deep made them perilous and often futile. Families mourned the loss of their loved ones, and memorials were held to honor the brave souls who perished. The story of the Komsomolets serves as a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made in the name of progress and security. Today, the wreck of the Komsomolets lies on the ocean floor, a silent testament to the dangers faced by those who venture into the deep. It has become a site of underwater research as scientists and historians seek to uncover the secrets it still holds. The legacy of the Komsomolets lives on in the advancements in submarine technology and the ongoing quest for knowledge about the ocean's depths. It reminds us of the delicate balance between human ambition and the unforgiving nature of the sea. The Komsomolets was a marvel of engineering, boasting a double hull for extra protection. This innovative design was not just a simple enhancement but a revolutionary step in submarine technology. The double hull provided an additional layer of security, ensuring that the vessel could endure more damage and still remain operational. This was crucial for missions that required deep sea exploration and extended underwater operations but its most defining feature was its construction. The meticulous process involved in building the Komsomolets was a feat in itself. Engineers and shipbuilders worked tirelessly, employing cutting-edge techniques and materials to bring this submarine to life. The construction process was a blend of precision and innovation, ensuring that every component was built to withstand the harshest conditions. While most submarines relied on steel, the Komsomolets was forged from titanium, a metal lighter and stronger. Titanium's unique properties made it an ideal choice for this advanced submarine. It offered superior strength-to-weight ratio, corrosion resistance and the ability to withstand extreme temperatures. This choice of material was a game-changer, setting the Komsomolets apart from its contemporaries. This allowed it to dive deeper than any other military submarine. The Komsomolets could reach unprecedented depths, exploring parts of the ocean that were previously inaccessible. This capability opened up new possibilities for underwater research and military operations, giving the Soviet Union a significant strategic advantage. It could withstand the immense pressure of the ocean depths, a testament to Soviet ingenuity. The ability to endure such pressure was not just a technical achievement, but also a demonstration of the Soviet Union's commitment to pushing the boundaries of what was possible in marine engineering. This technological leap promised to give the Soviet Union a decisive edge in the underwater conflict. During the Cold War technological superiority was crucial, and the Komsomolets represented a significant leap forward. It was a symbol of Soviet prowess, and a clear message to the world about their capabilities. The Komsomolets, however, was a prototype, a testbed for new technologies. It was an experimental vessel designed to test the limits of submarine technology. The lessons learned from the Komsomolets would pave the way for future advancements, influencing the design and construction of subsequent submarines. 
and with any experimental design, risks, lurked beneath the surface. The Komsomolets faced numerous challenges, from technical malfunctions to the inherent dangers of deep-sea exploration. These risks were a constant reminder of the fine line between innovation and disaster. Yet it was through these challenges that the boundaries of submarine technology were pushed, leading to breakthroughs that would shape the future of underwater exploration. The Komsomolets embarked on what seemed like a routine patrol, its mission shrouded in secrecy. The crew, a mix of seasoned veterans and eager newcomers, carried the weight of their nation's expectations. They were the elite, entrusted with this formidable machine. The Barents Sea, cold and unforgiving stretched before them. Unbeknownst to them, this routine patrol would be their last. Deep beneath the waves, fate was setting a deadly trap. On that fateful day, a fire erupted in the aft compartment, the initial spark lost in the chaos that ensued. The fire, fueled by hydraulic oil and high-pressure air, spread rapidly. The crew, trained for any eventuality, sprang into action. They fought valiantly to contain the blaze, their lives now hanging by a thread. But the fire, relentless and unforgiving, continued its assault. Emergency systems struggled to cope, overwhelmed by the rapidly deteriorating situation. The submarine, once a symbol of Soviet might, was now a fiery tomb. The crew faced a horrifying choice, remain trapped within the inferno or attempt a desperate escape to the surface. Section 5. A Desperate Fight for Survival The captain, facing an impossible decision, ordered the submarine to surface. It was a desperate gamble, a race against time and the unforgiving elements. The ascent was fraught with danger, the crippled submarine struggling to reach the surface. They had escaped the inferno, but their ordeal was far from over. The frigid waters of the Barents Sea awaited, promising hypothermia and death. Rescue vessels were hours away, and the clock was ticking. Survival now depended on resilience, on the will to live. Section 6 The Sunken Titan Despite their valiant efforts the damage was too severe. The Komsomolets, fatally wounded, began its final descent. The order to abandon ship was given, a desperate scramble for life rafts as the submarine slipped beneath the waves. The icy waters claimed the Komsomolets, its shattered hulk coming to rest on the seabed, over a mile below. It was a tomb for 42 souls, their sacrifice forever etched in the icy depths. The once mighty submarine, now a mangled wreck, became a testament to the unforgiving nature of the sea. Section 7. A Cold and Distant Aftermath News of the disaster sent shockwaves through the Soviet Union and the world. The loss of the Komsomolets, a symbol of national pride, was a devastating blow. Questions lingered, demanding answers. How could such an advanced submarine succumb to such a fate? Was it a design flaw, a fatal oversight in the pursuit of technological superiority? Or was it human error, a lapse in judgment or training? The investigation began, seeking to unravel the truth behind the tragedy. The answers however remained elusive, lost in the depths along with the Komsomolets. Section 8. Legacy of the Komsomolets, a silent sentinel. The wreck of the Komsomolets lying on the seabed became more than just a graveyard, it transformed into a radioactive tomb, its nuclear reactor and weapons a lingering threat. The Cold War may have ended but its legacy lived on in the depths. The environmental impact of the disaster continues to raise concerns. The potential for radioactive leaks, though closely monitored, serves as a stark reminder of the enduring dangers of nuclear technology. The Komsomolets, once a symbol of Soviet ambition, now stands as a silent sentinel, a warning from the deep. Section 9. Echoes in the Deep The story of the Komsomolets is a tragedy, a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the unforgiving nature of the sea. This Soviet nuclear-powered attack submarine which sank in 1989 has become a symbol of both human ingenuity and the perilous risks that come with exploring the ocean's depths. The Komsomolets was designed to operate at extreme depths, reaching over 1,000 meters below the surface, a feat that showcased the pinnacle of naval engineering at the time. It's a story of bravery and sacrifice, of men who faced their fate with courage. The crew of the Komsomolets, numbering 69, were well-trained and prepared for the challenges of deep-sea missions. Yet, on that fateful day, a fire broke out in the aft engineering compartment, leading to a catastrophic series of events. Despite their best efforts to control the blaze and save the vessel, the situation quickly spiraled out of control. The echoes of that fateful day still resonate, a cautionary tale in the annals of naval history. The loss of the Komsomolets was not just a technical failure, but a human tragedy. The crew's desperate struggle to survive in the freezing waters of the Barents Sea, their attempts to launch life rafts, 
and the harrowing wait for rescue are etched into the collective memory of naval history. The Komsomolets may be gone, but its memory lives on. Memorials have been erected, and annual commemorations are held to honor the brave souls who perished. The submarine's wreckage lying on the ocean floor serves as a somber reminder of the cost of human ambition and the relentless pursuit of technological advancement. It serves as a testament to the human desire to explore, to conquer the unknown. The Komsomolets mission was part of a broader effort to understand and navigate the mysterious depths of the ocean, a frontier that remains largely unexplored even today. This drive to push boundaries to seek out new knowledge is a fundamental aspect of human nature, but it also reminds us of the price of ambition, of the importance of respecting the power of the natural world. The ocean is a formidable force capable of great beauty and immense destruction. The story of the Komsomolets underscores the need for caution and respect when venturing into such an unpredictable and often hostile environment. The depths hold their secrets close and the Komsomolets, in its silent slumber, continues to whisper its story. The wreckage, now a habitat for marine life, is a poignant reminder of the intersection between human endeavor and the natural world. As we continue to explore the ocean's depths, the lessons of the Komsomolets remain ever relevant urging us to balance our quest for knowledge with a deep respect for the forces of nature.